Hey guys, my name is Sammy. I'm a classical Pilates teacher and today's tutorial is going to be about coordination done on the reformer. So you can either come out of the overhead exercise into coordination or in the intermediate order, it will come out of the short spinal massage. So I'm going to show you the transition from both of them and a few different variations that I really like for uh, coordination. So let's start with, we just finished the overhead. You have two springs on and your headrest is down. Okay. So you went down and from here, you're just going to bend those knees in, bend the elbows, lift your head and heels together, toes apart or parallel up to you. Inhale, press it out, hold your breath, open, close, bend the knees, exhale, bend the elbows. Now, before we finish here, I'm going to show you how to get out of short spine. So you finished. with your feet in your short loops down here you grab your handles two finger pinch onto the leather straps unless you have a short loop and a long loop on your black fabric strap then you just grab the long handles take your feet out let the leather strap fall through the handle elbows by your sides Inhale, hold your breath, open, close, bend the knees. Exhale to bend the knees and then bend the elbows. And I did teach another transition, should you want it. I did see Joe have it like this in some of his archival videos. Just know that you don't want those to swing around and hit you, so you need control. All right, so on this transition, your overhead, you bend your knees. I'm going to bring the knees together. I'm going to grab my handles and hold them up here. I'm going to slip my feet out and keep my body into this position. And then I'm going to roll down, elbows down, head up. Inhale, hold your breath, open, close, bend the knees, exhale, bend the elbows. So this is coordination generally. It's a breathing exercise. Inhale, open, close, exhale bend inhale open close exhale bend the knees and bend one thing that i um want to make a note of is a good cue would be inhale hold your breath open close exhale bend the knees curl up a little higher higher slide your arms a little bit more and bend the elbows you can also try starting with your arms already engaged, your wrists in line with your elbows, and then you go inhale, hold your breath, open, close, bend those knees, curl up, and then you gotta stop here so there's less of a chance of relaxing, <laughs> okay? And then you can also go out, maybe just right leg, maybe just left leg, come in, and again out, maybe left, right, both, to force you to kind of challenge your breath a little bit more, which is nice. Then you can have your arms up here and your head down. I like to grab this so I can see about my wrist being a little bit more in line and drawing that stomach in. Now inhale to go out, pull the stomach in more. With the head down, it's harder. Open close, bend the knees, exhale bend the elbow or lift the arms not bend the elbows okay now adding on to that you're going to keep your arms up and draw the stomach in so much that your tail lifts off now you're going to go down put your tailbone heavy press through the foot like bird on a perch pull the stomach back in opposition open close now you go Imagine there's a limbo pull. You're going over the limbo pull, lifting, 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 and stay up. So you're trying to really keep that engagement in the abdominals the whole time. Lift and lift and lift and lift those arms up. That really gets into your stomach. Okay, that's abs galore. Uh, let me show you the transition into rowing. So you're going to take both handles into one hand. 
you're gonna rock up swing your legs all the way around reach back and take a spring off then you are ready to go into rowing this is for the advanced order if you're not doing the advanced order then you will come on up and grab your and set up your long box so you would still be on two springs not on one you'll set your handles down come on up stand up and you'll grab your long box okay you'll set the box up and depending on what you're doing on the long box will depend on what springs you have. We'll get into that in the next video. All right, you guys, so that was coordination with some variations, with some little tips to kill your abs a little bit more. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time for something that has to do with Pilates. Have a great day, you guys. Bye. <laughs>